greater than or equal to 9 if pi is equal to 0 0.75. So um, in our case, pi is going to be represented in the binomial probability by p, um, because that's what we've been used to. So if, if p, the probability of success, is 0 0.75, how likely is it that we would, what we would be to see 9 or 10 successes? Well, that's going to be the probability of 9, which is 0 0.187, or 0.1877, plus 0 0.0563. So um, that's going to give me um, about, let's see, 0 0.23, about 0 0.24, I'm just going to say approximately 24% chance. So that's 24% chance. Well, that's a really high chance of getting some of observing 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 patients. So the next question is that we want to ask is the FDA requires that alpha equals 0 0.05 as the allowable type 1 error. Will the company be able to pass the drug through the FDA? Well, if we think about the 24% as the potential error rate, in other words, if we do reject the null hypothesis, then there's still a 24% chance that uh, we could have observed something more extreme than we did. So the fact that we got 9 out of 10, that's not significantly larger than, 75, um, than having 75% a success rate. So I don't know that we're convinced enough to say that the success rate is higher than 0.75. Yes, according to the sample it is, but that isn't really, isn't really convincing enough to say that the population proportion of all diabetes patients is greater than 0.75. So we're not saying that um, 0.75 is the success rate. We're just saying that we don't feel like 24% chance that this is just not terribly unlikely to observe with just a 75% success rate. So if there were a 75% success rate, um, the observation that we got would not be terribly unlikely. So we would conclude, um, no, our, um, what we call alpha observed, that our error rate is still, uh, what do we get back here, Twenty about 24%, 0 0.24. Whereas, we are only allowing Uh, an error rate of alpha equals 0 0.05 or 5 percent. So we would need the likelihood of what we got or more extreme to be 5 percent or less. So we need our alpha observed, which this is a subscript OBS, we need that to be less than or equal to our chosen alpha. If it's not, then there's, there's a high probability that we could just make an error that really what we're observing, this 9 out of 10, is just due to sampling variability, like tossing a coin. Yes, you could maybe get, you know, 5 out of 10 is what we would expect for a coin toss, but would it be highly improbable to get 7 out of 10? Would you conclude that if you got 7 out of 10 heads um, in 10 tosses, that the coin was not fair, that it, there wasn't a 50-50 chance? Well, no, you wouldn't, because there, because of sampling variability, sometimes you will get 7 out of 10 heads. So we can't really reject the null hypothesis. So our conclusion, um, there, uh, based on sample data, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. Um, there is not convincing evidence that pi, the real the true population success rate, is greater than 0.75. So we're not saying it isn't, but this sample just didn't really convince us of that. Um, because if the success rate is 75%. The alpha observed that we got uh, is something we'd expect.